Here we are again on Yukon. Big rock in the middle, little rocks on the sides. Three points on one and a half, two points on the other. Some open lines between the spawns as well, right around the big rock. See a lot of fighting over here, Delta Bravo. See a little bit of fighting over here around Charlie, usually, usually. There's no telling what's going to happen. Team 1, ANS, Team 2, OSP. OSP team's pretty spread out. ANS team's fairly concentrated by Charlie. Looks like one player's going to Bravo. Oh, they're adjusting. Someone's going on up bottom of the map, probably heading directly to Alpha. Mm -hmm. And we're dropping in. I didn't even get to finish uh, browsing over people. Is that a Solomon? Oh, yes. That is a beam Solomon. Oh, boy. We've seen how well these do here. Highly dependent on the player and the team. That's how well they do. Beam Solomon, a single Axford, presumably a missile Axford. Yep. Full to the brim of hybrids. Two destroyers? What are these? Okay, well, let's start. Let's start looking. Three beams and a cannon on the underside. No, on the rear. No, what? What? Where is it? Oh, okay, right. They have two four cannons. Forgot about that. And a whole lot of defenders. What do we get against containers, uh, which the opposing force has not brought. Blankets, be nice. A little e-war, rain support. Very important. 3,000 points of missiles out of this absolute madman. A lot of PD as well. Bullseye? You don't need a bullseye on this. And a beam turret? Maybe you do need a bullseye on this. What are you doing? What is this? What is this build? This is absolutely cursed. Bunch of hybrids, which are long range. Torpedo, a couple of torpedoes, which are short range. And a beam, which is very short range. Also got, uh, do they have a container ship? Because nice PD is definitely a container. Yeah, that's a container ship with two frigates, I see. You game dog bringing two frigates, are you? No. Just blind firing at Bravo, which is not a bad idea. Might be able to catch someone. Unawares, and if this Axford doesn't get turned properly, the enemy is securing zone yeah, that's. I don't think that's enough point defense to deal with these missiles. Although that that is only four, it looks like, so it might be enough for that. Especially with AMMs going out. Uh, I haven't even gotten a chance to look at the OSP team, and fighting's already beginning. We're gonna we're gonna keep an eye on this and mouse through the OSP team. A video gamer dog is a container ship with no support or with no uh, point defenses. Could be risky, especially against this Axford. We got Bellbird, two Bellbirds on these scouts. Extremely offensive build. Yeah, these are going to get cleaned up. Looks like they have terminal maneuvers. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay. Stand. Gun liner. Guns on both sides, 450s on one, 250s on the other. Plus an Ocello with some guns, Sarissas. Oh man. Nice support, Sarissa. A lot, of, a lot of stuff to help the team. Bloodhound Tug. Yeah, his Axford's gonna be in a little over his head if he tries fighting these. Hang ups coming down the field, trying to catch someone's minds. Trying to force someone's minds to. To kill them, decoys just sort of just just going out. Got a care in the world. This shuttle coming up here, grabbing an alpha, just a rocket shuttle. With oh, that's lovely. Let's actually look at this. A lot of guns, a lot of guns on this one. A little bit of support, a little bit of PD. Not that much. Plasmas. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. That's some plasma. It doesn't have the follow-up firepower, but this is, that's the ultimate support ship right there. Plasma with rockets, that's a strange combination. 
and more rockets. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like they have a lot of support ships, but no direct fire. Yeah, mass drivers, rails, nothing to follow up on that plasma. So the OSP team is bringing a fleet comprised mostly of support ships, almost exclusively of support ships, in fact. I think the only, like, direct combat ship is this guy, the Abject Terror. <laughs> Just a fitting name. Something's going enemies. after this. Uh, whereas the Anis team is bringing, I think, but direct combat ships. Here's the uh, here's the famous Frig Blob, by the way. I skipped over this. Because uh, fighting was happening over here and I wanted to see what was going on. I've also got these two missile destroyers full to the brim with Type 2s, which could be extremely dangerous. They're also extremely expensive. Uh, and one gun on the nose. Interesting. And no no point defense, which which is definitely dangerous for the player who has no point defense. The three or four containers will just kill this. Straight up, by the way. For anyone wondering. Here's the frig blob. Just rains and guns, rains and guns, rains and guns. Um, and if you're smart with them, you can deal with containers, but if you're not smart with them, containers will kill you. Straight up. Is it... This doesn't work! This doesn't work anymore! This guy still hasn't read the update notes that happened like two weeks ago. So the, the idea behind this is to overwhelm the target's PD calculator and to force a bug. This bug doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. That's also really scummy, by the way. Bug abusing like that. Like, what kind of a shitbag does that? Um, but it's not gonna work. So, pay for your hubris. We got some. Where are these going? Where are these going? Oh no. They're going after the decoy ship. Uh oh, big oopsie. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22 missiles. These brought 68. That is a third. All right, uh, yeah, I guess that there's two ships. Wow. Yeah, that's almost, that's a huge volume of the missiles. That they had. Unfortunately, these guys have left their AMMs on automatic. They're not manually firing them. So, a uh, huge waste of those. So, it's not a complete loss for the uh, missile destroyer team. Oof. Duh. And uh, so, remember when I said earlier containers could take these out because they don't really have any anti missile capacity? Yeah, well, containers are about to take these out because they don't really have any anti missile capacity. Someone taking damage, being plasma, very bad. Uh, but I want to watch some ships explode. This guy got hard countered. Clonk. That's pretty much dead, and that's definitely dead. Yeah, that's already zeroed out. That's completely dead, and this is mostly dead. And also, it lost one of its launchers. Um, so this guy's this player's out of the fight, effectively. Rockets coming in on this Solomon and mass drivers. Rails beams going out. But that, look at those point defenses. Yeah, it's gonna handle the rockets and that'll definitely handle any. These are presumably coming to fight this. Oh no, these are gonna dance in front of it. But that's not gonna do anything because as previously stated, that bug doesn't exist anymore. That's so many rockets. That's this guy's entire pellet. He's just firing all of it, hoping something gets through, and nothing's gonna get through, dude. I guess these eat AMMs. Contra attack. 
So that guy speaks French. Hmm? Or maybe just likes French and has, has a couple of French, French native missiles. doing well and it's funny because this like isn't even firing the pd because the ship is registering them as non-threats because they're not targeted they're not logging on so the ship's like yeah that's, that's not a threat nice nice pd silly billy oh some 200s hitting that monitor now that's that's an effective use of those. Unfortunately, that's about all that you're gonna be able to use those for. Yeah, he's pretty much out of missiles. He was able to kill one monitor, and uh, he's gonna die. These, clunk. These are staging. Now, st staged rockets will be able to do something about this, assuming they hit, and a lot of them don't. But a few do. Enough do that the Solomon's in big trouble, and his team's having a real rough time. Frig Blob is uh, gonna have to save the day, but they're not moving very fast. Relatively speaking, this Axford has uh, just swooped right out of Bravo. Good use of these mass drivers, by the way. The rail and the mass drivers. Very good use. The Solomon is absolutely the target you want to be shooting with those. How is this still alive? How are you alive? I mean, it's only technically alive. It's about to not be. Much else hits that that bridge section. Glad to see a container player. Uh, sad to see him try to abuse bugs that don't exist. I don't know. It's it's kind of funny. Watching someone that incompetent. Where are these going? Are these going for the escort ship? Oh no! <laughs> this poor thing is about to be annihilated. Because it has no point of it. It just has E War. Yeah, probably one would have killed it. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Whoa, look at this monitor. That nice. That was a good choice. That was a good play out of that container player. God, that's so funny. This poor defenseless little vessel. This Solomon's in big trouble because he's now by himself. He's got a lot of point defense. And that angling's really bad for rockets. But some are landing anyways. Oh man, a lot are landing. And uh, we can watch the DC team scramble, but no amount of scrambling is gonna save this. Rescuing the DC lockers, that's good. We'll return some restores and add more teams. I think. Okay, this is this is dead dead. Here's the free blog. Dun 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 dun. Slowly flying in. Shooting guns inaccurately. Oh no, they're hitting, they're hitting. They're just not doing much damage. Yeah, the uh, unfortunately for the Frig Blob player, the OSP team is pretty heavy on the tonnage. So they can handle that pretty effectively, I think. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have that much in the way of direct combat vessels. I mean, this guy brought some gunships. But. These mass drivers and the rocket ship. Ooh, a little, little bit of friendly fire there. <laughs> okay, that's half the OS or the ANS team pretty much eliminated. Hey, Solomon's gonna hide and maybe be able to exert pressure. I have a feeling these rocket containers are gonna finish him off. Even though the port side is taking less damage than the starboard side. Defenders, the angling is good. That pleases out. I don't know. Oh man. What are these maneuvers? 
numbers on these missiles. These are, this is crazy. It's actually doing a pretty good job against the RPF. Oh, not not a not a good enough job though. So this is trying to overwhelm the opposing forces. Point defense. Uh, again, the ship can register as many targets as it needs, and it can also tell that these aren't dangerous and choose to prioritize these over these. It's a nice thought. Ah, so he's spiraling these around while heading towards the opposing force, and hopefully them and the tax collectors will be hitting it roughly the same time. And that might disrupt the opposing force. We've of course seen Crushin do this similar stress before. And there, uh, aside from that first week where that bug existed, they uh, have been pretty ineffectual. Or uh, this, I keep calling this guy Crushin. This isn't Crushin. It's because we have seen this guy before. This is a freak ball player, and we were talking to him in the, uh, well, I was talking about in the uh, pregame chat. This is the video gamer dog. Why are we over here? No, go back. So these are going to retreat while firing, and they're not going to care. Well, a couple of guns are going after the nice PD, but, yeah, generally speaking, these are, these are not worth anything. Oh. Oh. Bonk. Oh, that's a huge win. Two huge wins. Looks like the CIC got popped out of this one. No, I thought it got grayed out. Yeah. Must have just been because I was too close. Huge damage out of those two. And this one. It's going to be a big problem for this frig blob. Even just a little bit of damage. As previously stated, containers can absolutely get through this. Uh, the RPF spam is great against rockets, and he gets Type 200 spam, but uh, containers are going to get through. Yeah, that, that's dead. No way. That's not recovering. In, in any way that's meaningful, anyways. Barrage of firepower coming out of the solo. Or is that coming out of the gunship? It's got to be coming out of the liner. Turns. As Solomon still in the fight, sort of. I don't think he's going to be able to get his beams on target. Anything he's even trying to get his. What? Oh, I've got the assault selector. Weapons hold? What do you mean, weapons hold? Bro, you need to be shooting. You need to be shooting. Like right now. That's very important. Wait until he sees the whites of their eyes. The log continuing to be brutally harassed. I think he figured out that the nice PD strat isn't going to do anything. So he's firing. He's going full on the tax collectors. appreciate the micro that's going into making these missiles fly in these weird patterns to dodge point defense. That's a really good idea. It's hard to pull off. But it is a very good idea. I think this one's going to get through. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be... What? <laughs> <laughs> Saved at the last second just in time to be murdered instead by bullets. Uh, funnily enough, this... If these missiles don't terminate further down here, they're gonna log on to these ships that are basically out of the fight. How you doing, Solomon? Still not firing your guns, eh? I don't understand what this player is trying to do. <laughs> He's got his weapons on hold. He's just kind of spinning his ship around. To face the more plasma side toward his enemy. The side that is more damaged and will take more damage. So he's just trying to kill himself is, is what I'm is what's happening here. Might be trying to get this 
beam to target, but there's a top beam turret that works too, and the beam target can you can just rotate the other direction, it'd be faster. I don't know. Has he still got his guns on hold? Yep. Oh, this player has accidentally clicked something on his panel down here, specifically weapons control, and doesn't know how to turn that off. Which is unfortunate. More gunfire going into these reins. Nice PD going after these. Are, they, are these going to run out of RPF? Because that actually could be useful. Uh, no. No, they are not. No, not before... Not before this guy runs out of missiles. In fact, he's running out of damage missiles already. Hey, you figured out how to turn off the weapons control. Did you see that beam? Looks like just in time, too. I think he might have gotten a kill on this thing. It seems to be kind of frozen. No, it's still in the fight. Rotating so slowly. Flip flash. That's plasma going down the field. Still politely facing his plasma side towards his opponent. Oh man, those beams deal damage. It's a damn shame he had the weapons hold on for so long because I think he's going to die for it. They very easily could have just erased. He was so solo. Some missiles came up here. I don't think anything got hit too badly. The cell is definitely damaged. Got the uh, nice PD still drawing pretty patterns and not really contributing anything of worth. Hey, axe for her to get into alpha. <laughs> Actually contributing. This has just, in general, been kind of a wood-tier match. Because you have this guy who's abusing a bug that doesn't exist anymore. And you have this guy who had weapons control on and is presenting his plasmid side to his opponent. Oh, he's about to get owned by containers. Yeah. I'll finish that off. One miss. So this one's out of the fight. Yeah, this guy who's just sort of flying around. Occasionally firing missiles. Not not really sure what he wants to do with them exactly. Got a kill on a shuttle, which is nice, I guess. We have our Frig Brawl player who got swatted away by containers, although he is going to outlast them, and I think he's going to do a good job at the end of the day. Uh, well, what other silly things have we seen? Oh, yeah, our destroyer guy that <laughs> unloaded a bunch of missiles at a decoy, which is understandable. We've all been there. But, uh, yeah, he just kind of got bad lucked on that one. No point defense. He's incredibly vulnerable, too. Bum -ba -da, containers. It's kind of been the story of this game so far. How close do those hybrids need to be to stage? They're going to be killed by AMMs. Swoosh, swoosh, and they miss. So, that's unfortunate. Not sure what that's about. Absolute withering barrage of fire and missiles. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at it. Going into this Axford, he's going to be dead before he can even... Yeah, he wasn't even able to cap Alpha. Hard victory for the OSP team. Yeah, cast nine... Just blessing it, hard blessing it on the rail guns, doing a surprising amount of damage. And uh, OSP Navy team just shooting it, guys, and again doing a surprising amount of damage. Doing a good job. But uh, yes, been a, been a been a silly match, been a very silly match, which is great. 
to an extent, because I like silly matches, and I like bringing you, dear viewer, the silliest of matches. That's why I'm such a joking funny guy. That's so much chaff. Which might actually work. There goes the Solomon. See you later. The legacy of containers is reactor explosions. But it has been a bit... I don't know, it, it, it just bothers me. When I see people do things that make me question reality. Like this guy turning on his weapons control. And not realizing it, not being able to shoot things. Or this this guy, I, kn I know I've been hammering this too much. But this guy trying to abuse a bug that doesn't exist. Like, what? What? Hey. These are going to miss that axe for entirely. I think that's the last of his damage arsenal. No, but it's very close. So the only real combat ships on the ANS team. Well, I guess this guy has missiles. He just doesn't really know how to use them. The only real combat ships left is Frig Blob, but it just doesn't matter. OSP team has everything. All the points. And uh, there's there's the uh, there's a bug that does still exist, the E War bug, where when you're jamming, it shows humongous cones on the tactical view instead of what is actually being jammed. It looks pretty funny, but it is moderately annoying, especially if you're trying to tell what the hell is actually going on. A couple missiles going into this this guy. I mean, that, that's what he was able to do. He killed that shuttle, and then I think he, he basically killed this one. It's not dead dead, but it's pretty heavily, yeah. Can't break in these things. It's a big problem. Also expended all of his payload. And that Axford. God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> you liar <laughs> mad respect I love it deny the enemy intelligence even though the game is already over hell yeah this frig blob was cute but uh didn't really do that much I just couldn't couldn't get in the fight it was too busy backing off and being point defense while there was getting missiles spammed at it weird match Let's take a look at this AAR. All right, Solomon, 10K. Honestly, more than I was expecting, considering these kept not firing. But imagine, imagine how much damage this could have done if these weren't on weapons hold for half the time they were able to shoot. Could have been potentially double this, which is really good. That takes it from eh to great. This, yeah, it killed two shuttles with these. Uh, silly. Frig blob. Yeah, no, hardly any damage dealt, and probably a lot of it being factored into damage dealt to containers. They got a few shots off on that uh, a solo liner group up top, the one that was half mass drivers. One of solo one liner mass drivers, and one of solo one liner guns. Um, and then nothing really going on here. Yeah, these guys got blown to hell before they could do much because they didn't bring any point defense. Which is a bad idea. Point defense is not optional. By the way, just for anyone who's wondering, I knew these frig blobs had more point defense on them. They didn't have to just retreat while firing. They could have burned forward and gotten into range and dealt some damage. What is this? Why did this do 46 damage? Oh, no, 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 no. It received 46 damage. Delt 6k, which with mass drivers is pretty good. A lot of those were banging on that Solomon. Uh, and some into the reins. So. Pretty high damage numbers. Less damage on the rails, so they pin better. And do better debuffs. It's an interesting combination, putting these two together. I don't know how I feel about it. Some damage out of these gunships. 
some damage out of these gunships, but they just weren't really... I mean, they, they shot at the Frig Blob some, but they couldn't really land any hits. And then uh, 43,000 damage out of the container ship. That was played really weirdly. But it worked out. I hate that this works even though he played with a really stupid strat of trying to abuse a bug that doesn't exist. Shows you the strength. Well, because he's obviously good with the containers, right? He's obviously really good with the actual combat containers. It's just this right here is a huge waste of points. Imagine how much more damage he could have done if these were all tax collectors. So, very impressive play out of Video Game Dog. Um, but also just very personally annoying. Funnily enough, he's definitely the MVP of the OSP team. No question. No question. Oh, I hope you enjoy the uh, children that are screaming outside of my home. It's been a loud day overall. I think that's the end of the AAR. Yeah. End of the video. So, uh, go away. Good night. <laughs>